didn't last very long. Between you and me, the best part of my job is getting a crack at all the leftovers from the dining area buffets. Captain Rokov is one of the most easygoing CEOs. Nice, but try. Larry likes to drop overly complex words into conversations. I'm sure he knows that it annoys people, but he does it anyway. Not much, other than the fact that they host these wonderfully entertaining. Could we talk about something else? Nice to have met. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Yeah. Uh... Can we do this later? I'm busy. Have, Have you, you tried, tried the canopies? The canopies? Horrid. Ugh. Positively horrid. Positively horrid. Quite a lovely starliner. Nothing society like chair has society. really up there, huh? <laughs> I don't know why Larry's attending this event. He could care less about any planet, let alone the Earth. Hmm. Well, that was boring. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future s Yes, he's some kind of a top dog over at Galbank. I heard he replaced someone that was caught running a fake loan scam. That's all then? Okay. That view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Hello. Are you a member of the society? Quite a lovely starlight. Larry has an A-level executive rating over at Galbank, which means he has access to everyone's accounts at the touch of a button. Enjoy the rest of the event. Have you tried the canopies? Please to make your acquaintance. Positively horrid. I heard he uses Galbank's VIP suite on the Siren of the Stars almost monthly. Does the man ever do any real work? Enjoy the rest of the event. An open bar would have been nice. But Trident's gouging us for every credit we've got. That view is abs. He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't. Don't forget to donate to. Cause. Hello. Are you a member of the society? Do I know you? Okay, wait, are you seriously... Uh, are you trying to pick me up? Look, uh, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. And my partner doesn't like competition. He gets very jealous. His wife? <laughs> Oh, for the love of God. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy?
If I give you dirt on that son of a bitch Dombrowski, all I'm doing is endangering myself. Why would I do that? That's true. You have come this far already. You know more about me than I suspected. Can't have that. That's true. For once, I would like to see him squirm. I should make him pay for doing this to me. All right, you've made your point. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out, and then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. If you're angry at anybody, it should be yourself for getting mixed up in this ridiculous scheme in the first place. Judge me all you want, lady. At this point, if I'm going down, then all I'm focused on is dragging Larry down with me. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some big wig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. I wrote a computer algorithm that basically creates a randomized number of false ghost credits that mimic the crypto key of actual credits. Then the algorithm simply passes the ghost credits to whatever legit transfers that the bank transacts. The genuine credits enter a dummy account. The best part is that I also alter the crypto keys as the real cash flows into our accounts. By the time it lands in our pockets, the grads are clean. So, on paper, it appears that all of the bank's transactions are covered, when it's really just our ghosted dummy creds. <laughs> Genius, right? What do you think is going on? I'm using that gullible idiot to get what I want. If I have to squash him on my way to the top, then so be it. Let's get one thing straight. Larry Dombrowski's no saint. He deserves everything that's coming to him. I don't know. If he's broken the law, he should be punished. But you don't need to stoop to his level just to prove a point. Stoop to his level? That's impossible. No one in the galaxy could possibly get that low. Dombrowski is a piece of human garbage. He'd stab you in the back for table scraps, then stab you again to steal dessert. The plan's always been to milk the guy for everything he's worth, and then leave him in the dust. Not bad for a lowly Galbank worker drone, right? What, are you ready to damn novel? <sighs> Fine. Vera works for UC Security, so he kept a lookout on their comnet for any Galbank chatter, I guess you could call him our early warning system. And Dombrowski made sure that all of the crypto manipulation I was working on didn't turn up in Galbank's automatic audits. You need top clearance for that kind of access, so we had to cut him in, whether we liked it or not. I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. Sorry, do I know? Look, I think I really don't have time. His wife? I told Larry. Look, I. What's it gonna take? If I give you dirt on that son of a bitch number. If you're trying to. You know. That's true. That's true. If you get the info, he might come after me.
Sorry. Do I know? Look, I think you're... I really don't have time. His wife? Uh, I told Larry. Look, I've been in this business. What's it gonna take to make... If I give you dirt on that slip... If you had another... You know more. Yeah, you could... That's true. All right, you've made... You know, Larry and I had the perfect... If you're angry at anybody... Judge me all... Yeah, yeah. Larry got together with... I doctored the train. It was going well... I wish I had some. Maybe you should... If he doesn't want to cooperate... Good luck. You're gonna... I hope you hurt him. Roski. Nail his ass right to the wall. You've already ruined our scheme. What else do you want? I wrote a computer algorithm. Then the algorithm. The best part is... So... Uh, what do you think? I'm using that gun. Let's get one thing straight. That was a bit insensitive. But my colleague's right. If you're manipulating him, doesn't that make you just as guilty? Hmm? I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his- Haven't you gotten enough out of me already? What do you think is going- I'm using that- Let's get one thing straight. I agree completely. We just want you to explain to us what you've been dealing with, so we can help. It doesn't matter if you're here to judge me or not, because there's nothing to judge. Dombrowski is a piece of human garbage. He'd stab you in the back for table scraps. The plan's always been not bad for- What, are you ready to- Vera, and Dombrowski, you need top- I wrote a computer app, then the out. The best part is, so on paper. I hope you hurt. Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. I certainly hope they decide to hold all the interests. The society chair has really outdone herself. Hello. You here for the charity event? Oh, uh, I'm afraid that's a bit outside my wheelhouse. I work for UC Security, so I don't think I could be of much help. I have nothing to do with Galbank. Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. You're a liar and an absolute disgrace to the United Colonies. Just in case you weren't aware, I am the authorities. Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? Here for business or pleasure? I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up and I guarantee that Embassar's gonna demand that you be arrested. Which is why he's threatening you. That makes sense. We need hard evidence of their scheme. It's gonna be tricky. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows.
Maybe. But if something goes wrong and he's able to raise an alarm, with all of these wealthy patrons aboard, the ship is crawling with security. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to tamper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. Whatever it takes. He's talking about tampering with the only system keeping everyone on this ship alive. Don't worry. It'll be as easy as it was mingling with the guests at the party. The society chair has really outdone herself. Hello. You here for the... Oh, uh, I work for UC's... Claudia sent you the... Look, friend, I... whatever you think... You're a lot. <laughs> Just in... Anything you try, and since I will. So, what brings you aboard? So, what brings you aboard? I saw you. Which is why it's threat. We need heart. The problem is. Smart. I think the best check. Manipulate a few controls. Exactly. We shouldn't go near that system. If anything goes wrong, we could kill everyone aboard. You don't need to know anything about the system. All you need to do is access the maintenance area and throw some switches. One more thing. If Chief Engineer Sandin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, what's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet? Right. Anyway, I better start packing. Things are getting hot around here, and won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. On the surface, he's an upstanding citizen of the United Colonies, pretty high up in UC security. Lots of clout with mast. Underneath, he's a greedy piece of garbage. Give it the chance he'd backstab you for a cred stick and bid the murder on someone else. Come to think of it, if he wasn't such a petty tyrant, he'd probably thrive with the Crimson Fleet. Don't you have somewhere to be? Have you tried the canapes? of limits to passengers. Wait a second. Your Captain Rokov's get... Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, sorry. That area is off limits. Oh, really? Well, that changes things quite a bit. Tell you what. I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away? Yeah, a little. A few of the techs call this deck the dungeon. <laughs> I think you can see why. Not exactly Starliner-class comfort down here. Don't get me wrong, the quiet gives me time to gather my thoughts, catch up on work and all that, but I'd rather work on the bridge. Honestly, He's a seasoned ship captain. He told me he was a long hauler for years, and the experience shows. Only thing is, he's always talking about trade deals and plans for get-rich-quick schemes. It's all the guy ever thinks about. Why he decided to be a Starliner captain, I'll never know. It's almost like he craves being around money. Tell you what, though, for someone that loves credit so much, he sure doesn't mind gambling them when we play cards. 
Feel free to look around, but don't mess with any of the controls. It appears that we've definitely ruined the party. Everyone's gone. It's large enough to accommodate a family of twelve. I was wondering if you were the cause of the ship-wide emergency. It's a waste of space. It's time you stop playing games and tell. You're working for Ikande's little anti-pirating outfit. So what? And even if I suddenly decided to stay loyal to the old UC, why would I possibly want to incriminate? Claudia said that. You sure? Damn it! That means my money's already gone. And Dombrowski's going to walk away with a fortune. I'd love to see the bastard fry. But if I give you that information and it falls into the... Dombrowski had the authorization to wipe out records on Galbank's system without raising any red... I let Claudia talk me into that. She said she had him wrapped around her finger. At least I walk away with something. All right, you have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, 
you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. Wait a moment. Are you telling me that this scheme is getting so up? That's all I need right now. Just because I'm helping you nail Dombrowski doesn't mean I'm turning my back on UC security. How else am I going to ensure that he ends up behind bars when all this comes crashing down? No. You can leave me out of your merry little band of pirates. I wasn't lying when I said I didn't know anything about your undercover work, if that's what you're trying to imply. All I can tell you is that there's more than a few people at Mast who find Commander Akande to be a huge pain in the ass. I mean, the UC is aware that the Crimson Fleet is a problem, but it pales in comparison to the issues with the Free Star Collective. Akande's loaded with big picture ideas, but not a ton of evidence to put them into action. And frankly, it's driving my superiors crazy. Well, since Claudia has been spending time disgustingly close to Dombrowski, I think she's suffered enough. On the other hand, I've got very, very special plans for Larry. I have some friends that can, well, let's just say, take care of the problem. That's if you leave him alive, of course. We'll just have to wait and see. You better tell Dombrowski to run, because if you don't kill him, I will. That last... Nick is so satisfying, isn't it? All passengers, may I have your... Retention, please. The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Our security team would appreciate if you'd please shelter in your cabin during this emergency. Thank you. There's no cause for alarm. I'm sure this is just a minor malfunction or a drill. Well, well. You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of negotiation. Excellent, excellent. So, before we begin, let's review the facts. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galbank. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor, hmm? Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, 
This leads me to conclude that you desire something personal from me. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. I pride myself on having an intensely thorough education, though I'd hardly call myself a professor. Though I'm sure that your compliment also meant you were having trouble understanding what I've been saying. In blunt terms, you have compromising materials about me in your possession. The only thing I have to offer in return are my gal bank credentials. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? Oh, do get on with this. There's only so long I can stand being in the presence of this pig. Splendid. It appears we've reached an accord. Wait, I'm sorry. Let me simplify that for you. It sounds like we have a deal. Oh, of course I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Good day. There's no cause for alarm. I'm sure this is just a minor malfunction or a drill. All passengers, may I have your attention? Well, please? looks like everything worked out. Just like we planned. I wish you hadn't blown away the gunman that that Sandino. But hey, fashion. you got the job done. I'm glad you feel that way. Just remember to tell Delgado how much I pitched in to help. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? Crick's his legacy. Are you serious? I heard Delgado was spinning that yarn, but I thought it was more of a hobby with him. Have things really gotten that desperate? Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining the fleet now. It's been a long time coming. I owe you one, Dover Beach. Nonsense. If there's one universal constant you can depend on, it's that Yevgeny Rokov always makes good on his deals. Always. Well, I suppose this is where we part company. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'd be aboard the key. The Siren of the Stars is now in emergency status. Please remain calm and proceed to your cabin. 